Hello guys, welcome back to the Berry Road to Glory Career Mode Season 3, Episode 48. My name's Arlad. Welcome back to the channel today. And I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who's liked, commented and shared to support this uh, series. It is a bit of a slog, mainly because of the real life situation with Berry. So I appreciate you sticking by me and helping my channel grow. On to today's episode, we have an adjusted League 1 schedule. And uh, we're going to play games against Wickham, Doncaster and our Wimbledon match has been moved forward to the end of November to make way for the round two match against Salford, which is at the beginning of December. Let's see how we get on and hopefully pick up more wins. And so the opening game of today's episode, a trip to Adams Park to take on Wickham Wanderers. That's right and um, hopefully that we can continue our winning streak. Wickham should provide to be... A very suitable opponent. All eyes on the left wingers. Anya Dima is being tracked by Berry as they trying to deal with contractual situations with Armenicus. Here is Anya Dima. Early chance. Alex Samuel has fired Wickham into an early lead. Ten minutes on the clock. And the cut back to Anya Dima. I thought he was going to shoot. And before any of the centre backs could react, Alex Samuel. He just drills that past Kennedy. And to his best efforts, couldn't save it. And Danzi's not happy, and neither am I. Terrible start. Samuel to White to Grimmer. Grimmer. He's going to pull this back before Barbosa can get there. On your Dima to Samuel. Oh, and the danger's snuffed out by Darcy. And Berry can clear it. Armenicus. Cuts inside, into McDonald, great chance to equalise, oh McDonald fires wide, it's a blazing shot, comes off the outside of his foot, a miscue, it's wide to Samuel, he's popping up all over the place, Maskell, into Mesoraka, Samuel, oh well cut out by Hokovar, that's good defending, and that's played through. And Paulson rides a challenge. So Bosley, he's got runners. And Paulson, he's got a man free in the middle if he can find him. It's Armenicus. It's 1-1. That's the equaliser we're looking for. And he runs to the away fans. The man who's refusing to sign a contract at Gig Lane has pulled us level here. Panayotis Armenicus, the Australian. It's given us a, a lifeline here. It's his second League One goal this year. Will that convince him to stay? And at this point, does Danzi want him to stay? Crossed in. McDonald. Oh, well won. Thompson dwelled on it and Sabozlai stole it from him. McDonald runs to the right and to the left. McDonald, he picks out a pass over the defence. It's Armenicus. Oh, he shot wide. Wait, no, it's a save. Wow. That is some save from Ryan Alsup. It's going low into the corner. It is a save. That could have been his brace. And Danzi knows that was a good chance. Matheson retrieves it on the right. Five minutes to go till half time. Crossed in. So Boz lies there, but Stewart gets a foot on it. Armenicus. It is half time. Referee's waiting to blow. He's got Grimmer for company. Holds it. Doesn't pass. Armenicus. He's looking for the shot as he pulls back inside, and Grimmer makes a challenge. Armenicus goes down, and the ref wants the players off the field for half time cup of tea. So far, so good. Armenicus looks really threatening from the left side. Just got to try and get that go-ahead goal in the second half. We've been able to keep on Yadima quiet, I guess. He's provided that assist for Alex Samuel, but he hasn't scored yet. Here is on Yadima. He's got the legs to beat Anjarin, who isn't going to catch him. And Hokovar comes across. He's got to try and win the ball here because he's left his spot in the middle. Maskell. Oh, and Hokovar did really well because it was two on one. Long ball over the top. Paulson to Stewart and he rides the challenge wins it McDonald into the box chance for McDonald oh and didn't get the power on it Wickham pushing forward with five minutes to go Thompson Teal 
Pulls it back. Misuraka hits the side netting. Time running out here. It's Misuraka into Parker behind Darcy. Oh, and what a stop from Kennedy at the near post. Parker thought he'd won it. Crossed in. Oh, and Matheson with a great block. Superb defending. And Berry can now clear it to Darcy. And we'll come out with a 1-1 draw here at Adams Park. Held on at the end and we'll move on to the next match. So we're back at home and at Gig Lane to take on Doncaster Rovers. And hopefully our winning form can continue. Having earned a point at Adams Park, we'll be hoping to pick up a win here today. One of the players that's featuring heavily today is Armenicus, who's continuing to refuse to sign a contract and extend his stay at Gig Lane. Here he is, Armenicus crosses it in, Fitzpatrick, oh he can't direct that header in. Banabia cut out, Banabia wide, Thiago's in fantastic space here, crossed in, Murray's there! Oh, Dante can't believe it, neither can I. How did he miss that? Either side. Gomez, Kiwamia checks back, Gomez. Into Coppinger. Into Gomez. Back to Coppinger. Lovely pass to Kawamia. Space on the right. Takes on Thiago. Gomez! Oh, and a good save from Blackman as he parries that away. Corner. Gone short. Gomez. And Panzu gets a touch on it. Oh, Kenna Bahiri goes back to Gomez. They can't get the cross in. Coppinger sends it in and Rossi clears. McLean. Whiteman! Oh, that's a defensive block, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It comes off Rossi's toe. Well played, lad. Thiago powers it away. Fitzpatrick, 25 minutes played. No goals yet. Murray, held up by Horton. And he finally gets away from him. Neris, in an advanced position, into Bernabia. Bernabia on the cutback. Into Fitzpatrick, surely! Oh, he's put it wide! How did he screw his shot wide there? That should be 1 0. And Panzer intercepts. Oh, it's a blind pass, and Gomez intercepts. Into Kawamia, and look at this, half an hour in. Kawamia past the back line. Oh, and he's shot wide. <laughs> Both teams squandering chances. Bernabia, Murray. Cuts inside onto his left. Murray! Oh, and it's deflected off McLean. Can he get it clear? No, he can't. Banabia sends the cross back in and Fitzpatrick is there. It's 1-0. Having just missed five, six minutes ago in front of goal, Ian Fitzpatrick has scored here on the volley. Banabia didn't give up the chase. He was very resilient. Put pressure on McLean and he just hooks that back into the six yard box. And to be fair, Jones doesn't have a whole lot of time to react, and that's what you see in there on the replay. Lovely technique from the Irishman to volley that in. And Fitzpatrick now has 10 league goals this season. Odds on favourite, probably to finish our top scorer. McLean into Kiwamia. And he's held off on Panzu, which is no mean feat. He's still going here, Kiwamia. Running out of juice. Kiwamia, he's going to have to send the cross in. He does well to get by Thiago again. Deep cross to the back post and Neris gets his head to the ball. And at half time, we lead by a goal to nil. It's a narrow lead. We want to avoid conceding one of those equalisers that means we only draw. As you can see, Bolton are beating Coventry. And uh, QPR level with Wimbledon. Peterborough thrashing South End at half time scores. Bernabia wide to Murray. Does well. Oh, and look at that. Horton's giving it away to Bernabia. Pulled back to Armenicus and he scored. Paniotis Armenicus. Terrible pass from Horton. And Armenicus on the penalty spot almost. Lovely pullback, and he beats Jones. 
That's he scored now for the second game running. Danzi's happy. The question is, is Armenicus happy? He's getting games, he's scoring goals. The saga continues. Whiteman. Coppinger. Checks back. Played it in. Madga Gomez. And parried to safety by Blackman. He has got a powerful shot, Madga Gomez. Fasini. Oh, that's a great pass. Lovely reverse pass. And Murray has released Neris. Neris. Oh, checks back inside. Into Fitzpatrick. Oh, and he, oh, he can't squeeze it through. He just tried to squeeze it between the defender's legs. And Panzu. Fitzpatrick. Banabi, a lovely sweeping move. Murray to the right. Murray sends it in. Oh, and Jones parries it away. Doncaster living dangerously. Eight minutes to go. Coppinger. Gomez. Oh, Kenna Bahiri into the box. Can he get the shot away? Rossi with a strong tackle. And he's challenged by two men and still holds them off. A minute to go. Oh, Kenna Bahiri. Benya checks back. He does well. Benya Coppinger, and it's a goal. Surely nothing more than a consolation so late in the day. James Coppinger, the veteran midfielder, edge of the box, quick release, good finish. And full time, we finish 2 1. Three points is all that matters as we go into our final game of the episode. And uh, Neil Downs will know that every potential away game is the next possible game that we could lose. Of course, Bury at the moment the unbeatables, as you can see from the league table. 21 games now without a defeat, including 17 wins from 21 games. And uh, close proximity are QPR and Peterborough, so we'll need to keep winning. McLaughlin finds Osu. Crossed in, it's a first time cross and Darcy gets it away. Here comes Parkhouse. Back to Kelly. O'Neill crosses from the right and there's the header but a sting of the header taken away from Osu. It was down into the ground and Gard was grateful to collect. O'Neill pulls it back. Parkhouse! Oh and a good save from Gard. Relishing the opportunity to represent Berry in this game. Swung in. Hartigan. Oh, and that was almost in. Wimbledon piling on the pressure here for the opening goal. And they were close there. Wide to Osu. King will go to engage him. But he can't win the ball. And it's a low cross. McLaughlin. Parkhouse. Oh, and side netting this time. You wonder whether they'll be ruining those missed chances. Play through from McDonald to Bosley and Juan Carlos comes out to make a save. McDonald, Shaw, sends it long, looking for King and Juan Carlos comes out as the pass is over here. Angerin, McDonald, Bosley turns back inside but it's intercepted. Angerin wins the ball back. This is great pressure from Berry. Into King down this right hand side. A few moments to go to half time. Crossed in and headed away. And Osu will flick it on. And during intercepts again on the edge of the box. Wimbledon can't clear it. And it's Shaw. Harrison Shaw fires Berry into a one goal lead on the stroke of half time. He just needed that extra touch to steady himself. And it clips the inside of the post after beating Juan Carlos. And you have to say, it's almost against the run of play as Wimbledon have had the better chances. And Harrison Shaw now has five league goals this year. And we go in at half time with just the one goal. And hopefully build on that a little bit better in the second half. We Wimbledon have had most of the chances. And as you can see, Peterborough uh, leading 2-0 against Rotherham. Swindon holding QPR, so good result for us if that stays the same. Barbosa swings it in, looking for King, but it's just over here. McDonald holds on to it. 
Into Shaw. Into Saposlai. Takes it round Thomas. Great chance here. Saposlai. He makes it two. And he's fired Berry into a two goal lead. Matthias Saposlai. He seems like he's been around for ages. And this guy still isn't 20 years of age yet. It's a low hard shot. And it's only his first league goal of the season. Been demoted to something of a sporadic player since the arrival of Sam Clare from West Brom. McLaughlin, Parkhouse, into McLaughlin, back to Parkhouse. Great chance, Wood, Owen, oh, inches wide of the post. Hartigan, seen a lot of the ball, Parkhouse, McLaughlin. Y2 Osu, back into Parkhouse, back to McLaughlin, Parkhouse back to McLaughlin, crossed in, surely a goal, oh and Kwesi appear thought he'd scored, Sam Gard with a superb point blank save, oh what a save that is by the prospect, Hartigan, into Appiah, back to Hartigan, crosses from the right, there it is. Oh, and what a save again. <laughs> Sam Gard having the game of his life here. Had to be very brave here as the cross came in. It's going to go wide to Lee as time's running out here. Can he get the cross in? Oh, it's blocked. McLaughlin clears it and that will be full time. Much to the disappointment of the home fans, but Berry continue their winning streak. And they are still undefeated after 22 games. Another three points. And we go marching on to the title. Alright guys, that's the end of episode 48. I hope you enjoyed the goals and the results. If you did, smash the like button and uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you enjoyed. Uh, join me on Friday as we take on Salford in round two of the FA Cup and the, have the Leasing.com Trophy Area Semi-Final to play. This is our lad signing off. See you guys soon.